So I'm here with Rebecca Weinberg. She's the winemaker at Contessa. And you dug some holes for me, which is very nice of you to do because that's where they like to put the wine writers. Um, so tell me about this pit that you've dug here. We're on the eastern edge of the property. We've got some white volcanic ash. And when you got here, you said holes were dug for what reason? So when I got here, we were digging holes with the idea, or at the time, just for replanting. So thinking about it very functionally, very transactionally, about what kind of soil that was and how we needed to replant. Just match to a rootstock and just kind exactly. of do Not it, to a, a basic what building block. What kind of adjustments block. do you need to make to your soils as you do a replant? Okay, so now down in, in this pit that you've dug here, yeah. what are you doing now that's different from back then? So now we're digging the hole with no intention of doing a replant. We're digging the pits to gain a better understanding of our terroir, to learn more about how the vines are interacting with their soils, and that's informing our farming, that's informing our winemaking, and we're ga gaining a deeper understanding of what we do, connecting the soil to actions that we were doing intuitively before. So give me an example of that, uh, perhaps in the pruning here on this. So, yeah, so the pruning here on this one, um, as we see the soil, um, the vine aging, we have changed our pruning techniques to really respect the vascular flow. And so it's all about maintaining vitality and energy in these vines as opposed to maintaining a certain architecture. Especially in a poor soil like this, exactly. so you had to kind of change what you were doing. Exactly, okay. change what we're doing. And from doing that, we're already seeing a lot of changes in the balance of the vine, in the evenness of the vine, um, the amount of fruit, so we're having, for instance, the same yield. It hasn't changed yield, but it has changed how much we need to adjust yield. Um, and you said this parcel used to not really go into the main blend, but now... Yes, it is. Now it does. So this is a parcel that is very problematic for years. It is a very difficult soil. These vines have had to struggle a long time. And now that they're fully mature, they really understand the place that they are and are making beautiful, expressive grapes. So now we're at uh, our second pit, um, which was dug uh, just recently, and you said this was one of your best parcels. We're at the top of one of the little hillocks here in the middle of the property, and my first question was, why are you digging a hole in your best parcel? What did you have to find out? Yeah, that was a very good question. Um, and the answer is that one of the things we want to find out is why is this one of the best parts of our property? Why is this one of our best parcels? What is going on in the soil here um, that is informing the grapes that we're finding? So positive for our wine. And what did you find out? Well, different, very different soil from the white ash that we saw over there. Very different yeah. soil from the white ash. And stuff. So it's also volcanic origin, but if you look here, there is a large amount of these cobbles and these boulders, and they are from a river. They're from water movement. And it's really mysterious how they've arrived here on the top of the, the top hill. Of the hill yeah. um, but they are obviously allowing these vines, which you can see are penetrating all the way through the pit, quite fit, quite healthy. Um, they're allowing these the vine, vine roots to find their channels through the soil. And this is adding what to the wine? So this is a block that adds a core tannin, like a mountain kind of tannin, and a real minerality. And that's one of the things that makes Contessa so interesting. You're in the middle of the valley floor, but you're actually benchland yes. or even mountain style fruit in some yes. of your spots. It is a, a mix of benchland, mountaintop soils, and um, valley floor soils all in one property. <laughs> so we're, in the, we're talking dragons because we're in the Dragon's Terrace um, parcel here at Contessa. It's the third pit that you dug. And you said this is one of the most consistent parcels you have. It's always made the blend. That is correct. This is the only block on the property that has been part of the Contessa blend in every single year. And so when you dug a pit here, did you figure, uh, did you find out what you thought you were going to find out or did you find out something new? Uh, both. I found out that it's great soils. Um, great soil for Cabernet, a mixture of rocks, volcanic, cobbles. What surprised me is how variable it is, um, how it varies across the block and why it's here. There's not a really good story, uh, geologic story about why this soil is here. But it did kind of combine the elements in the first two pits that we saw. So you have that volcanic ash, then you have the, the cobblestones, but they're smaller here and that mix. So what character does that impart in the wine? So this block really has that, that core of Quintessa, which it has the red and black fruits. It has a concentration without being overly powerful. And it has this incredible suppleness to the tannin. That's the holy grail.